good afternoon, good evening, my name is Mr. Moth Gaming and welcome back to episode 5 of my Fans of Broke Rock series. This is the Broke Rock Get Off My Lawn server. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that little introduction. I don't normally like dying during recordings, but you know, these things happen. And there's good reason for it, because as you can see over my right shoulder, we're going to make many, many levels. And we're finally going to get ourselves our netherite gear. The area is looking absolutely fantastic, I absolutely love it. Um, the pyramid's first floor has been completed, we'll take a walk over there shortly. And yeah, that thing. So, let's go over to the pyramid and let's see what's going on. Now as we head towards our pyramid, I know I did say in the last one that the progress on the pyramid would start to slow down. It has somewhat. I have finished the first floor on it, apart from that one entrance doorway. But I really really like how the area's come along. I've added some vines to the front of the pyramid's towers, which I'm going to have to put some string on and stop if we've grown too much. Also to our iron farm. So while we're on our way there, let's just jump over here really quick and have a look and see... Yeah. <laughs> This thing is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I don't know where to do all that red dye and poppies. So I have also terraformed some more of this area. I've obviously got still got to build some more layers of the sand up to give it that kind of desert effect. But it's looking really, really cool. I'm trying to stay away from the cactus because that's where all my XP is lying. We need it to stay at zero. So this area itself hasn't actually changed, apart from the fact there's more shulker boxes now than ever. I have started laying out an item sorter, which is the next episode. And if we come in here, we've got all the emeralds, and we've got our vault. I have started building up some of these torches, which are, look really, really cool surrounding our vault, which we'll talk about in a second. However, I have realised that I haven't built it centred, so if you go into the centre of the path, which is around about here, yeah, we're, we're off by two blocks. Uh, two or three blocks. So, I will, go, I'm now going to, I will have to rip all that down between the episodes and move it so it's in the centre. But this will be our Broke Rocker Head Vault. Can we collect them all? Because that is my mission for the series. Let's see how many we can get. We have obviously already got this one. Which I can't. It's going to let me break it off. I can't remember how to break these off. There we go. Uh, we already have got Bad News Boy's head on the wall. And I want to try and see if we can collect them all. They come from London Traders, so there will be a, a massive stack of emeralds at the door or on my person at all times. In case that scam artist comes around, he doesn't appear around the base very often. It's mostly I catch him when he's um, when I'm at the shopping district or around other places. So as I said, this is where our item sorter is going to be. It's going to be probably the line for the torches all the way down, and we're going to have it's going to be two double chests and a shulker box in front for every single item. If we head up the stairs to our second floor, which I, I know I didn't show you in the last one. It is pretty barren at the moment, but it is fully completed. The walls all the way around, the lighting, the pillars, it is absolutely, that wall is finished. finished. But yeah, it looks really, really cool. And I can't decide if I'd like to put some doorways, potentially two there as well, two there and two there, similar to what I've got here. Um, I don't know about that yet. But then obviously we still have this upper section to be done. So our next floor will probably be around about this kind of height. And then we'll have our top floor above that, which is going to be a main, you know, sticky out bit from the roof. So another floor like this, and then a big, a big one on top. If we head outside here, obviously there's the, the path's pretty, you know, I, I quite like it. I am looking for ideas of what to have on these, the first floor and the second floor, but uh, as you can see we've still got the terraform all the back here, I realise I haven't showed this on camera. I just kind of, when I was building the pyramid, ripped into the landscape as far back as I could and just dug it all down. These aren't, you know, <laughs> junk errors, I had to manually dig all this. But we'll terraform the majority of it, 
once we're finished. So what we'll do now is I will take you over to this, which is my newest newest form, and we're going to do a rates test of it. As you can see, just rendering into the distance now, there's anvils, there's shulkers up there, because today, as I said already, is the day we get ourselves our netherite armour, and this thing is amazing. And I, I like the fact that I've colour coded it. So let's, I'm going to go back down the stairs all the way around, and I'll see you over there. So here we are at our gold XP farm and this thing is the design by Navy Nexus who is absolutely amazing and it basically relies on the whole 21 by 21 portal and will drop you lots and lots of uh, zombie pigment in a chamber into the trident killer which is where my crosshair is. I've then got a, a row of hoppers going all the way down into a custom item sorter which I've got down here. The item sorter isn't fast enough at the moment to keep up with the drops, but what we have is we have two chests of two lots of double chests of the three double chests. <laughs> three double chests of the rotten flesh. We've got it's not three either. It's six double chests of rotten flesh. Six double chests of gold nuggets and six double chests of gold ingots. Now, gold ingots aren't obviously that many, which is as at the end here. And all the swords will go along into a chest that you can just see hidden in the back there. And there is a trash can at the back of this wall. And I've just basically decorated the room in a similar style to the rest of the base. So I have to have this wall here, so I'll probably move that torch and put a block in there. But yeah, it is pretty cool. I'm going to what we're going to do for this rates test. I'm going to empty this fully. We're going to run it for 15 minutes. We'll, we'll, we'll do two tests on it. We'll see how long it takes to get to level 30, and we'll also see what the rates are after that time as well. I think I've worked it out as around about three minutes, four minutes to get to level 30, and obviously we have over already got our level set to zero. If you give me a couple of minutes, I will empty that out and I'll bring you right back. So there we go, we are now all fully empty. I've just actually realised I will probably change this down to only three double chests of rotten flesh because that just took ages. And from all that, I got 21 and 6. Which is pretty decent. So what we'll do is we'll f firstly sleep for the night, get back to daytime. No, that it makes a difference, we'll just let it go a bit darker. And we will need to grab a loot and free sword. I have still got all my gear. My gear is up in a box at the top there. I didn't want to bring it with me to die. So if we just give me a second, we'll let the the sun go down. Quite a nice sunset. No, too far away now. Okay, there we go. Daytime. So if we head up this tower, I'm, I, I do get a wee bit of lag because of the way I'm doing this. I've not turned my graphics settings down, um, which I, I usually do. The other good thing about this thing is we can also run, as long as we're in the area, we actually run our iron farm at the same time. So as we're doing the wee time lapse of the rates test, you will see lots of iron golems dying probably, or hear them in the background. But the view from up here is really, really quite cool. And I love the fact that I've managed to keep it in time with the area, so we've got a lot of the smooth sandstone, the textured sandstone, and the red glass, I think. I like the red, which will obviously go with the some of the ascents that we've got, which are going to be around the area. And there's no iron golems, which is kind of strange. Anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a rates test on this. I will mute my microphone and then, you know, just in case there's any background noise here. And we'll basically flick that switch, and then that switch, and we'll see how long it takes to get to level 30, and, one minute, Mr. Moth, don't forget your sword. Where is your looting free sword? There it is. As you, yeah, my gear's here. I've got some fresh stuff for when we do the enchanting. Right, looting free sword. No gear on, nothing that will cause an issue. I'm going to run this test.
welcome back to that. Turn this off. So welcome back, that time lapse oh god suck XP. There we go. That time lapse took about three and a half three and a half minutes that it took to get just above level thirty, so level thirty one was pretty awesome. Before we start enchanting, I would like to go down and have a look and see how much of a bat log we have. Um Oh, okay. No bat log. Did we not get any drops? There's no way that all filtered through that quick. Oh, it did. Look, there's trash. The trash bin going. Nice. Does it stop clicking? Oh, it has. There we go. All this. We'll have a quick check of the hopper. Oh no, there's still bat log. So what we'll do is we'll do our enchant and we'll come down and see when once it's all backs backs itself through. Cool. All I can hear now is that clicking of my ear. <laughs> so yeah, I, that was a lot of, that was fun. Um, I, just, I don't know how far up this is backlogged. I know it's not in the chest. But it gives us the, the levels now to do what we're going to do. And I brought these things up here so that I can, if I need to, um, take some more levels because I don't think 30 is going to be enough. If we get rid of the sword now, we'll start off with a sword and I'm going to just cut the recording and then go back in and uh, once I get this all set up. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we're back and we have got the majority of our tools all now in our infantry laid out of how they're going to be. We're missing one book from our axe which is Smite 5. Uh, for some reason I don't know why I haven't picked one of those up so they're looking at what's left in my books we might have to jump over to the shopping district and see if it grab them some anyway but here's what I have got set up we've got our sword with looting free obviously sharpness 5, knockback 2 unbreaking 3, mending and fire aspect this is obviously going to have efficiency 5 mending, unbreaking 3 and it'll be smite uh, we already have one spade which is more more than adequate, but this one is going to be our silk touch, so it's just basically how it's the same as everyone else, which is silk touch, efficiency, mending and unbreaking. And I found I'm just want to double check something really really quick. Yeah, I'm right. I was gonna say you can't put efficiency on but you can. And our down hole will have efficiency five, fortune three and unbreaking three as well as well as mending of course. So let's just get these all done really, really, hopefully I won't have to run the, if I'm going to have to run the farm, what I will do is I will probably just, um, run down, do the rates we use all first, and then come back up and run it as I'm doing this, because I don't really want to be, um, I don't want to find the results of that rates test, so to speak. That one and that one, which is 9 or 12. This is the easiest way I've found to do this. There we go. And the only issue is now we'll not have the levels to do it. <laughs> As is always the way. Uh, so let's just jump down really quickly and have a look at the. the good thing is, I'll be able to hold this sword because it'll be. Well, it's already it's sitting partially enchanted, so. Um, we'll, so what we'll do is we'll go down, we'll do a rates test, I'll see if I can convert some of the, the stuff around and we'll have a look in a second. So here we are, I've not opened any of these yet, so, but definitely the clicking has stopped, so we'll, let's have a quick look and see what the rates were. That's not bad. To be, there you go, see? Item filters on bedrock edition. Nice. Now one go through. Eleven and oh, I don't really mind. That is pretty decent. Pretty decent. That will get. That will keep us going for a while. And that will allow us to do the gold ascents that I have got planned for that thing. So let's just jump up and we will run this farm. I'll, I'll put a warning in chat that I'm running this farm and we will start enchanting this gear and I'll probably just do that as a time lapse because you don't want to see me slowly going through it so let's 
let me quickly chat to the got a message up and I'll speed in a minute. Right, so there we go, I have got the message up in chat and the first thing we're going to do, obviously we won't be able to use looting free until I enchant in this book. So let's start the trident killer. Okay. There we go. <laughs> start the farm. Stand back against this and the levels should start coming in and let's do this time lapse of enchanting this gear. So yeah, that took a little bit longer than I had planned, I didn't expect a lot of them to be over level 20 to enchant once they were fully done, so we have now done that, so if we just have a quick look in our infantry, we now have obviously got our sword, our axe minus smite, our second pick a uh, shovel, and our hoe. Unfortunately actually I'm out of time for the episode so in the next one I will jump over to the shopping district and we will deal with all of this because if we're looking at it I don't have the books. Um, I don't know how I'm, I miss, you know I've got extra knockbacks and sharpness books and you know I can see there's no aqua affinity, there's no respiration um, I don't really want to make this episode last any longer than it is and I could always run back and jump forward but then we're, you know, give us something to do for the next one. And uh, by the next episode I'll also have all this bit here all slabbed so hopefully that stops these golems from spawning. It's weird to spawn there but that bit is actually a full block. I don't know. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. This farm is absolutely amazing. Well, we have a quick look. I was going to say we can have a quick look at the rates just from doing that time lapse at the end there but I can't because I never emptied the chest but yeah it is oh didn't mean to do that could have done that if I tried so yeah it has been a lot of fun recording this episode we have now got the the gear we'll, we'll make it all netherite and we'll deal with our armour in the next one so until then my name is Mr. Moff Gaming goodbye